nine ways to wear one white tank top and you never even have to show your arms. Hi ladies and welcome to today's video. My name is Kay. I blog at dressformyday.com and I'm so glad that you've joined me here. I'm a wife and a mom, a writer and a speaker, a busy woman just like you. I'm also in my 50s. For the most part, I encourage and inspire women 50 and above simply to get dressed for our unique days. I believe that when we get dressed, then we're more likely to show up, to speak up, and perhaps do a little good. So I'm so glad that you've joined me today. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, I hope you'll do that today. But let's get going with today's topic. Hopefully it has piqued your interest. Yes, I am going to share with you nine ways to wear one white tank top. This happens to be a tank top from Chico's. I love this tank top. It's that slub cotton, 100% cotton, but it's that slub kind of, I guess, I don't really know what that means, do you? Maybe you could tell me in the comments if you know what it means. I think it's just the way that it's woven. It kind of has a linen feel to it even, but it's a cotton uh, tank top. It is, of course, sleeveless. It has a little bit of a V-neck in the front and a scoop in the back. It has a thick, uh, wide uh, waist band or hem at the, at the waist. And I actually got this tank last year, but they have them again this year. I, in fact, I bought them in two other colors this year because I like this tank top so much. And as I'm making this video, they have plenty in stock, but I don't know who knows what the case is by the time I'm showing you this video. So I hope they are in stock and I hope they're there for a great price because I love this tank top and I think you might too. But I want to share with you nine different ways to wear it. I have worn this tank top to pieces. In fact, I'm actually thinking about ordering another one for next year just because I like it so much and I've kind of worn it to bits this, this season and last season. Um, but it's so versatile in my closet. But you know what? I actually don't even like showing my arms that much. I have kind of, I'll call them muscular arms, <laughs> but I actually think they're just kind of big and flabby. And I don't know about you, but as I've gotten older, I don't really want to show my arms all the time. Now, when I'm home, I absolutely just wear this as a tank top. But if I go out maybe to lunch with a friend or coffee or I go out to dinner with my husband, I kind of usually put something over it. And so what I want to show you today are nine different ways that you can wear this one white tank top. And in all nine of the outfits, I have actually put something over my arms. So you could wear it by itself with any of these outfits or you could wear it with the third piece that I've added. But you know, I think the main key to wearing this simple white tank top is simply accessorizing, keeping your outfit interesting with your shoes, maybe a belt in some situations, the way you style things, maybe cuffing up your jeans or um, you know, putting up the collar of the jacket or you know, rolling up the sleeves of the shirt. Uh, also, of course, adding some interesting jewelry that just makes the look very modern. So I think you'll see in these different outfits, they're all very different looking. Some of them are shorts, some of them are pants. In fact, I think most of them are longer pants, but you could duplicate these with denim shorts or white shorts or something like that. But let's go ahead and get started with the nine different outfits with this one white tank top. The first look is with my um, linen pants, my flax colored linen pants. And they're just, so this is a very natural look. I love how this just is very subdued, very ladylike to me, um, very feminine with the cardigan. It's a rose colored cardigan. I don't think it's available anymore, but you obviously probably have something like that in your own closet. And then I've just added some very dainty, pretty jewelry to this. And I've picked up my straw clutch worn my Eileen Fisher suede wedges that I just love. They're so great for walking, but they also just elongate the leg because they're the same color as the pants. And here, of course, I've just left the tank top just loose and it really has that easy going feel. I just love this outfit. All right, the next one is with my floral pants. Now, I actually did an entire post on this on my blog called How to Wear Floral Pants. 
and not look childish. <laughs> So you'll probably want to check that out because that was a great post. It really gives you, I think there were like four or five different outfit ideas of how to wear these floral pants because you absolutely can wear floral printed pants in your 50s and beyond. But I do think it takes a little thought. It, we don't want to just overdo it because then we look a little childish. But I love the look here with this white tank and I have given it a little bit of a front tuck and then to hide my arms or just to kind of, you know, keep the look a little bit more mature looking, I have um, worn my white linen blouse. So it's a white linen button up shirt. Uh, that shirt is from J. Jill. We'll see if it's still available. I will link to it in the description box below if it is. The pants may be available too. They have been at a great price at Talbot's. I have added my gold sandals and a hat there, just a lovely summer outfit. Okay, the next one is with another pair of linen pants. These are really my favorites. These are some marigold linen pants from Eileen Fisher, but J. Jill has some, they're, they're the same color. They are just the same color and they are at a fraction of the price. So whether you get them, um, I think the Eileen Fisher ones are at Dillard's or the J. Jill pants, these are great, great linen pants. And I simply wore the white tank over it and then just to give that little arm protection, I just put on my black and white gingham check shirt. Isn't that great? And it all coordinates because I have on my uh, sandals and I picked up my black handbag. I got a big black statement necklace there. So it really pulls together nicely. I love this look. All right, the next look is from Nick and Zoe, their travel collection. It's called their Tech Stretch ankle pants and the tech stretch jacket. And so this is, I showed this before in another video, I'll link it here. Um, it's about all the things that you should wear when you're traveling. And I love this outfit for travel, but here I've simply worn it with this white tank, tank top. And I like, like that because the jacket is very, very lightweight, but this keeps the outfit really cool because you don't have any sleeves in there that are bunching up or getting hot. The whole outfit is so cool. In fact, you could ob obviously wear your sneakers with this, but I chose to wear my black flip-flops. I have really enjoyed these black flip-flops from Sperry this year. And then I picked up my big black faux leather reversible tote. So this is a great travel outfit, but it's also just great for working around the house or running errands. All right, the next outfit is with my camo shorts. Oh my, I love this. These camo shorts are also from Chico's. So they are just made to go with this white tank top. And then I threw over that my denim jacket. You could also throw over it though, a chambray shirt if you'd prefer. I put on a nice chunky necklace. That's also from Chico's. I hope I can give you all these links in the description box below because I love the way this outfit came together. Once again, got my metallic sandals on. Just a really neat look, once again, just with that nice white tank top. All right, the next outfit, some of you may not like this, but I love it. So these are my big kind of oversized jeans. These jeans are by Madewell. I've cuffed them up a little bit at the hem. I love that. And then I have simply paired that with my white linen blazer. Don't you love that? You know, I even intentionally did not wear a necklace and kept my earrings very simple because I want this look to be very pared down. And I love that with the white tank top. I have on my white sneakers. These are my Tory Burch sneakers. And then I have on a leather belt. Now you don't have to put on, you know, tuck in your shirt and put on a belt, but I just think it really elevates this outfit. A belt always elevates an outfit. And here, see, you can't, it's not like it's gonna really accentuate my waist because you just barely see it peeking through that beautiful linen blazer. If you don't have a white linen blazer, girlfriend, you need one. I have so much fun with this blazer. All right, let's go into the next outfit then. Here I have worn my ankle jeans from Talbot's. These are kind of a darker wash ankle, straight leg ankle jeans. And I have simply added a little sweater. It's just a little three quarter length sweater from Christopher and Banks. This is a little shell kind of print sweater. 
very simple and it's in green. Now the way I kept this from looking kind of fuddy-duddy is that I added some very you know, modern looking, natural looking, stylish jewelry. The jewelry is from J. Jill and I think that that really elevates this look. But this is one of those sweaters that's nice and lightweight. It would be great just to have on your office chair or just to keep around to throw on when you're a little chilled. I love this look. Now, again, it's real important that I did tuck my shirt in here just in the front. And the reason I did that is for proportions. Because these are ankle jeans, if I don't tuck my shirt in, it actually doesn't look right. It just really throws the proportions off. So that little tuck, really, it doesn't, it's not gonna like accentuate my tummy or anything. It's just going to keep the proportions right in the outfit. But because I had that sweater on, it's, it's not gonna throw off, you know, make my tummy look big or anything. Okay, I love that outfit too. And then I think this is, okay, I got two more. All right, my next one is an all white look. Uh, I've worn my white jeans. You could duplicate this, of course, with white denim shorts or just some other kind of white shorts or another kind of white pants. But I chose to wear my ankle uh, white jeans and just, a, of course, the white tank. And then I put over a little really sheer, lightweight cotton paisley shirt from Talbot's. I think this shirt is about sold out. It may be gone by the time I show you this video, but you probably have button up shirts like this in your closet that you could do this same thing with. It's so lightweight. I just cuffed up the sleeves a little bit and wore my, uh, my metallic silver sandals and some silver jewelry. Such a great summer outfit. All right, we just have one more to go. And this is with my full length flare cut jeans. These are in a lighter wash and they are on sale or they have been on sale at Talbot's. I hope they still are. I love this look. I've worn some heels with this look because these are longer jeans. And I have worn a, another sweater from Christopher and Banks. This is kind of a, it's a cardigan. They call it a cardigan, uh, a fringe cardigan, I think it is, but it's that crochet look, which is really in style right now. And it wears kind of like a vest. And I just love this look. I think it's so modern. It's kind of got a retro feel, but that's really in right now. My jewelry is all from J. Jill. Once again, really elevates the look and just makes it so interesting. So there you go. That's nine different ways to wear that one white tank top. You know what, you probably have things like that in your closet too, whether it's a white t-shirt, a white button up shirt, a black t-shirt or a black tank. There are so many ways to wear those wardrobe essentials. That's why they're essential. In fact, if you subscribe to my newsletter at dressformyday.com, you will have access to my list of wardrobe essentials for spring and summer and fall and winter and all the other goodies that I give to my subscribers too. So I'll hope you'll consider subscribing to Dress For My Day for my newsletter. You can either get it daily or weekly. You get to choose. All right, there you go. Let me know which of those outfits was your favorite or if you have suggestions for an upcoming video, I would love to hear it. If there's a particular item maybe in your closet or that would be in my closet too, that you would like to see me style different ways, let me know, I'd love to hear about that. All right, thank you so much for watching today. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you again really soon. Bye now. Mm -hmm.